Kevin Sear, West Roxbury. So what are we doing in West Roxbury during spooky season? Well, what's spookier than a graveyard? I mean, in daylight it's not, but... All right, well, what about a graveyard for graveyards? Okay, that isn't exactly what this place is, but inside this innocent-looking warehouse in West Roxbury, you'll find what might be the spookiest place in Boston. What is this? Some secret society performing some ancient rite of a cult? And why are they collecting these spooky gravestone fragments? Because they were broken and lying on the ground. Okay, well, maybe it's not that spooky. This is Kelly Thomas. She manages Boston's Historic Burying Ground Initiative. The city owns 16 historic graveyards, and in them, hundreds of historic gravestones. So they're made of stone, which is a natural material, and they just disintegrate over time. I mean, some of them have been outside in New England's winter for over 300 winters. And when they fall apart, Kelly tries to put them back together, and sometimes that's easier said than done. So somehow this goes with this, but I don't know how this goes together. It's sort of like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, you just find these pieces and you don't know where they go. Is it Boston's biggest jigsaw puzzle? Uh, I would guess it is. <laughs> and when the pieces do fit together, the restored gravestones go back to the graveyard. But they're not always perfect. You can see the repairs on this one have bleached out in the sun. Their goal isn't to make these look flawless, but to preserve them for future generations. I would like to be as true to the history as I possibly can. You know, there's thousands and thousands and thousands, probably millions of descendants from these people that exist now. You can't throw that away. And Kelly is calling on all amateur sleuths out there to help her solve Boston's biggest jigsaw puzzle. So Kelly shared these photos with us of 11 gravestones that she's pieced back together, but where they came from is still a mystery, and that's where you come in. All you do is head to boston.gov slash gravestones, and there you will find pictures of each gravestone with clues that could help in the search, like whether someone died in Boston or Dorchester, their spouse's name, or a marriage record so get to work and good luck we have to help Kelly out so re-up your ancestry.com membership and start searching the record